was just I was just trying to Snapchat my friend, man. Welcome back to the Sasco Contractors YouTube channel. If you are new here, remember to subscribe for more quality content. Today we're going to be talking about what it means to be a great apprentice and how to excel at the job. So what is an apprentice? An apprentice is simply a helper for the journeyman. Your first four years are going to look dramatically different as an apprentice. You'll start off doing simple tasks, things like just getting tools, helping hold supplies, getting things from the truck, and very simple tasks like panel changes or plug installations. But as you get more comfortable in the electrical trade and learn more as you go, you can expect larger and longer tasks. So what are things to keep in mind when you first start becoming an apprentice? How do you become a great apprentice? And how do you show the company that you're working for that you want to stay for the long term? In a journeyman's point of view, one of the key differentiators from a good and bad apprentice is their willingness to work. But if this is your first time in the trades, how do you show a good willingness to work if you don't know what you're doing? Well, to start off, you need to anticipate need. What does this mean? Anticipating need means that you're watching your journeyman closely at all times and are focused on what he or she is doing. That way, when she needs a screwdriver, or if he needs a drill, or if she needs a ladder, or if he needs some nails, you are right there ready to hand them to them. Yeah, so anticipating the need of your journeyman is just is just absolutely crucial. A lot of times the journeyman is going to be busy with his own two hands and it's thinking a couple steps ahead and you're trying to foresee the next the next step in the, in the job. It's like, oh hey, I can go grab this from the truck. Oh hey, I can go and strip this material down or bring this to the site. Uh, that's really what makes the job go a lot smoother and having a good apprentice makes the job just 10 times easier to roll. You find that if you're just willing to work hard and, and foresee what's coming up, that makes their lives a lot easier, right? less stressful. For example, if your journeyman is working on a fire alarm installation and you're just playing around with the heat gun, your job is gonna take much longer and be much more complicated. However, if he sticks out his hand and you're right there, ready to hand him what he needs, you're gonna be out of that job site quicker and all the journeymen going forward are gonna wanna ask for you when they go to a job site. Another key thing to keep in mind is asking questions. Asking good questions is the best way to learn. You always hear that there's no such thing as a bad question, but is there? Sometimes yes. However, if you're closely paying attention, chances are all of your questions will be great and your journeyman will be eager to show you the ropes. By asking good questions, learning and applying that knowledge, you'll be able to take your skills to new heights. The next thing you want to consider as an apprentice is safety. Safety is always a priority. So the head supervisor who has orange locks goes in there, locks it all out, puts the kids inside this box, and then having us, so you know, you got my lock here, Carson's lock here, and then Jamal's lock here. Just keeps everybody safe and we just know, hey, everything's dead. Oh, you need everyone to unlock the box before you get the keys to turn on the power? Exactly, right? So we go and we hook up this panel here. We gotta make sure it's dead before we do anything because if it's live, like, we don't want to blow up, right? So what they do is the supervisor will go in, lock out all the circuits, all the things necessary to do it. We issue this permit outlines everything that we're doing, what areas we're working in, what the task is, and then the tasks are kind of listed on the back here. And then we get issued a box, put our lock on the box, and then every single day we go and we take that back, take off the box, everybody goes home safe, and that's why we all, are, we all stay alive, right? At each job site, there are clear and specific safety regulations that all of our employees follow. It is not cool to forget the safety regulations. It just slows everyone down. When you come to the job sites, arrive on time, ready to work with all your safety procedures in place. There is nothing, nothing more frustrating to the team as an apprentice forgetting their safety gear. Last thing we want to talk about in this video is our opportunities at Sasco for new apprentices. Our company is always growing and we are one of the largest electrical contractors in British Columbia. We also have access to the top talent 
coming out of the trade schools here in BC as well. Our apprentices and our journeymen are absolutely top tier and the job sites you'll be able to experience as an apprentice at Sasco will be unlike any other. You will be able to learn much quicker and have more career opportunities following. If you are looking for a career in electrical work, visit our website. We hope you found this video useful because at Sasco, excellence matters. At Sasco, you matter.